All right, Shalom Israel, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakah Kadash, Rakah Da Yahweh, Rakah Da Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles, the elders, the great millstone, my salutation to the brothers, teaching word for the hopeful, lit, hopeful lit families, man. Just want to do a, um, hopefully it's quick and edifying, man. Um, you know, we're going to, we're the sons of the Most High, and all these other nations are not going to have no superpowers, man. So, there's going to be an order, you know, and their superpower right now is based on you gaining on the earth, you know, with materialistic things and carnal things. And the most High said not to put our, you know, value in carnal things and our uh, strength in carnal things. So, you know, most high got them seeking out power, you know, on the carnal side, which most high is going to upset that the spiritual which giving him his men spiritual powers, man. And what Yahweh Shai said, he said, um, Psalms 82 and 6, I have said, ye are gods, and all of ye are the children of the Most High. Now, there's three classifications of um, men that we always speak about. And that is the sons of men, the sons of the wicked, and the sons of God. So they're all different. And the sons of men are these other nations. And you know what the Most High said about these other nations, that they're less than nothing, smaller the dust of the balance. They are like spittle. You know, so they're not going to receive any power, man. Um, it reiterates that again in John 13, 34, Yahweh Shai answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said ye are gods? So he was talking to his own people, man, because who... Who was given the law? Israel. But you know, of course, the the wicked of the uh, of our own people was against Yahweh Shai because he was teaching a world beyond this, and it would it would mess up their carnal establishment. You know, what I'm saying as rulers and everything, because pretty much um, the true rulership is with spiritual power and and and, a, and eternal power, man. It's not in carnal things, it's not in weapons, it's not in the law, you know. So, um, you know. So it's going to be a spiritual phenomenon that's going to happen. Even in the days of uh, Paul, it says, Acts 14 and 10, it says, said, it said, uh, verse 9, Then the same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, Stand up upright on thy faith, um, on thy feet. So I can, and he leaped and walked. And when the people saw that what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying in the speech of uh, Lacanonia, Lacanonia, if I'm saying it right, Like a Onya, the gods are come down to us in the likeness of men. So they know about, you know, gods and coming in the in the likeness of, of, of men. You know, they know about, you know, the spiritual side. And they call Barnabas Jupiter and Paul Mercurius because he was a chief uh, speaker, because he was the chief speaker. So, uh, you know. That lets you know, too, we were being called Greek names like we are in this day. You know, we call Americans, uh, we call, um, you know, well, you know, as far as even if, if we had spiritual powers, they'd be, um, of course, you know, deeming it to be evil. But, you know, those people that were, you know, in certain knowledges of, of the gods, they would be like, you know, what God are they? What, you know, everybody knows. I mean, the, the, the bag is open pretty much, you know. But they, in that time, they were saying, oh, these are the gods, you know, and coming in likeness of men. So, but everybody know now that, you know, we're professing the name Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. And when we get those powers, they're going to know exactly 
what's going on. Most high willing we get those powers or whoever get the powers. It's going to be the men of the Lord. It's not going to be no heathen or any other nation. And they're not going to surely be Edom, man. You know, and then they, they try to give them, you know, sort of a praise. And they said, you know, that we didn't do this by our own power. You know, uh, see if I can get that, man. Um, well, okay, I'll just keep reading quickly. Then the priests of the Jupiter, which was before their city, brought oxen and garlands into the gates and would have done sacrifice with the people, which when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of, they rent their clothes and ran in among the people, crying out and saying, Sirs, why do ye do these things? We are also men of like passing with you and preaching to you that ye should turn from these vanities into the living power, man which made heaven and earth and the sea and all these things that are therein. You know? So they was given um, glory to the Most High. You know? Even with them being able to heal and things of that fashion, man. And we were go we going to do the same thing today, man. You know, give the most high the glory. We ain't going to, we going to know we, this power is not of ours, man. And most high is going to make sure that too, man, that he's the only power. So, you know, um, by Hashem Shai, of course, his son and so forth, man, you know. And uh, so, you know, why most high got all these nations waiting on their superpower on the, on the left hand side with this worldly activity of the new new world order coming into play. He's building his men up on a spiritual level and guess what's going to happen? The manifestation of spiritual power. And it says in Romans 8 and 19 for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God, man. The sons of wicked going to be done away with, you know, and they're, they're, um, they're going to be pretty much um, trapped in a base state to where they're going to go into slavery and all these other nations. You know, Most High is going to raise his men up. Um, and that's what they feared, man. You know, like I said, if they find out any man have any kind of spiritual powers, they they afraid now, because of prophecies. But if they see any kind of activity of spiritual powers, on any level, they're gonna surely come and get us. You know, but the Most High is gonna set up a standard. That's that standard that talks about in uh, when the enemy come in as a flood, because that's the very opposite. You know. Uh, that's the that's the balance of uh, of that carnal power. We're gonna have spiritual power, man. Because in the Most High, it says in the Scripture, we we have to take the natural. The natural has to come first, and then the spiritual. So we ain't gonna. We have to go through this to to even reach that point of spiritual power. That's how it works. You know, and it says, as it's done in earth, on he in heaven, it shall shall it be done on earth. So that power is coming. And it's going to be among certain men, man. And that's why they got all those space devices and super troops and, and high tech savvy devices. Because they're going to try to fight against men with spiritual power. The main anti-angelic power himself Yahweh Shai man. under Yahweh so when they say return of the gods they know it's the return of, uh, of a power coming and we're prophesying that till to the, uh, this day you know so they're getting ready you know like if they're getting ready for a, 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 an angelic force entering the atmosphere 
and 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 talking about this alien invasion. Jake ain't got nothing on them, man. You know, they got some technology beyond what Jake can ever make. I don't want to make this too long, man. You know. This is the man. Stupid ass app, man. this last scripture man okay so it says Isaiah It says, uh, Isaiah 59 and 19, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. And the enemy shall come in like a flood. The spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Yeah. And that's spiritual powers, man. And that's, that's, that's why it's sons of God, sons of power. The other nations, sons of men, Esau is the son of the wicked. So they're not going to get no spiritual powers, man. That's only the people that's tapped into the power, which is Yahweh, his son, Yahweh Shah. You know, it talks about the eternal Godhead, you know. So, yeah, let them conjure up their weapons and, and, and all those carnal things and watch the Most High upset their enterprise with spiritual domination, spiritual dominance spiritual power and it's going to be used through his holy men you know anyway to the next video shalom